Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids, where the live arena. Well, it's finally live for everyone. It is live. I'm actually a little bit late coming to actually play this. I had a shower and then I was playing with the puppy for a good while. I actually had like a, a, a family death. Um, uh, so my girlfriend is away at a wake today. I'm looking after the puppy. Nothing, nothing, you know, it, everything's good, but... Yeah, anyway, let's dive in. Con you know, condolences to anyone else who's had a, a bereavement recently. Best vibes to you, but let's dive in. Let's do some live arena. Here we go. Let's go. I think the big uh, message, I'm going to go in. I'm, I'm going to first pick Yumiko. I pulled Yumiko maybe a month or two ago. She's probably the most OP champion on my account. Uh, and definitely, I'm just sort of getting into what I'm sort of preparing for is gold, right? Gold live arena. Um but you can't have duplicate champions, right? So if I first pick Yumiko, the enemy team can't pick her. Uh, of course, while we're in bronze and silver, there's no rules. I could pick five Yumikos and he could pick five Yumikos. But right, he's gone in with an ultimate death knight and an Ugo. Ultimate death knight is actually very annoying. <laughs> that one is very annoying. Um, so let me see what we can do. Let me see what we can do. I think we keep our cards close to our chest for now. I'm going to go in. I think I'm going to go double reviver with an Uko, um, which is going to let us strip perhaps the ultimate death knight here. And maybe just go in with an arbiter. So we have sort of speed on lockdown. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's go in. Let's go in with my sort of favorite one two pick here, which is a Prince Kaimar. I think this is really mean. <laughs> so we've got buff strips galore. I've been liking these two champs together. I think they're going to be fairly high priority picks. We've got the resets, we've got uh, the buff strip and the sleep with Kaimar. With, with uh, Yumiko. Uko is absolutely amazing and can flex into multiple different roles. Gives us a revive. I have Uko and stun set running very quick. Um, not much accuracy on Uko, but I don't think he's going to be... Looks like he's an earlier game player, right? So I don't think he's going to have much resistance. Um, he doesn't have sheep on his ultimate death knight. I highly recommend running polymorph on your ultimate death knight for sure. If you can get him in stone skin gear, uh, even Reaction Gear. Reaction Gear is more specifically to counter Jorgid and Eilil. Okay, he's gone with Yukarl and Sylv the Drakes. Okay, cool. So we are going to be faster than this guy. We need a couple of damage dealers now. Um, I'm going to bring in... Yeah, I'm going to bring in the Hefrak. And I'm going to bring in the Kandrafon. Kandrafon should be nice here. Good affinity. We've got the AoEs to nuke them. Big AoEs to nuke them. Get past Ultimate Death Knight, which I'm feeling good about. Let's lock him in. Uh, we should overpower this guy. If we lose, it's going to be pretty embarrassing uh, for me. But and, and I may well lose today. We may well lose a fight that I should win, which will give someone, you know, because it's rough. It's difficult. And I feel bad for King Rooster here. He's level 62 and he's like, oh, I've got to fight a, a, a gosh darn content creator. Maybe on his first fight. Probably is because he's at 900 points. Um, that, that feels bad. Like there's no way he should be matched up against me. But that is just how the sort of early game goes. I actually think we get rid probably of ultimate death. You know what? No, let's get rid of your Carl. Let's play it safe. Let's just remove his damage. Yeah, Deliana can do some, but I'm feeling pretty safe. He's banned away the Kandrafon. I'm going to take the Speed Aura. Um, I actually, now I think about it, my Mighty Uko and my Prince Kaimar are actually going to clash, right? Kaimar is going to sleep them. Then Uko is going to wake them up. So that's a nice uh, anti-synergy I've got going on. I might need to not pick both of them together in the future. Because um, Kaimar is faster than my Uko. I'd have to make Uko faster than Kaimar for that to work. Which could work pretty well. Right. We'll put all his moves on cooldown. Sill actually resisted, which is probably a 3%. Yeah, she got slept there. So it's probably a 3%. Um, I don't think there's a point in blocking their buffs. So I will just speed boost here. They wake up, which are his, his revivers, so we can then nuke them down. We might fail to kill these two champions, but I don't really mind. We actually killed Ultimate Death Knight. Okay, we can pretty much click auto at this point. We've got the hex on her. We reset. Uko is actually... He's, he's going to speed boost again, which is a bit of a waste, but that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I think a big message here, guys, is don't be worried about losing. Don't be worried about it, okay? I've got a lot of experience in, in losing because I came from uh, doing uh, Heroes of the Storm, right? MOBAs, and League of Legends and stuff like that. Um, if matchmaking is good, and matchmaking is not going to be good on day one, it's going to be really bad on day one. Like this fight is a great example. Uh, but when matchmaking is good, you should be against somebody of equal skill and equal account level, equal account power, someone that's winning as much as you. 
right? If you're if it's equal, well, it's a 50-50 as to who wins. In other words, you're going to lose about half of your fights, right? On a good day, you're going to win more than half. On a bad day, you might go in and lose all of them, right? That can totally happen. That's the way it is. It's something that I think raid players probably aren't very used to because, you know, the, the game is kind of designed for ultimately for you to win, really. Um, you know, like you've got tough challenges, but at Live Arena makes it more immediate, makes it more real, you know? Okay, this guy's won a couple already. Level 87, so we do out-level him. We're going to go in with the same the same first pick, at least, with the Yumiko. That's a good safe pick. She works in a go first and a go second. It doesn't really give anything away. So I've been kind of liking it. I don't know if it's the best option, but I do kind of like it. Let's see what he's going to go for here. Ooh, okay. Okay. This might be a good opportunity to try out Supreme El Hain, actually. I'm kind of kind of liking that idea. We could bring in the Uko again. I think that could be pretty okay. I'm almost definitely going to ban this Leorius. This guy's got much... To, I don't have either of these Void Legendaries. So this guy's lower level, but uh, he's uh, either been very lucky or he's been buying a, a little bit of stuff. Uh, nothing crazy, but yeah, here we go. I think we go Speed Team here. I think we get Arbiter and an Uko backup Speed Aura. That might work pretty well. Uh, we could go for the Kaimar either. That could work. I think the block... Um, Uko is quite nice against Necret. You can steal the buffs that Necret puts out. And it gives us a backup revive. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it in. Um, yeah, it's interesting. So yeah, look, that's what I'm saying is be prepared to lose. It's going to be fine. And especially here at the start, uh, everyone is just in, in bronze four, whatever it is. All, what, bronze one? I don't know. Yeah, bronze one. Everyone's here at the bottom all together day one. It's going to be a complete mess. Things are going to improve with time. In fact, I suspect probably like a month from now, Oh, okay. <laughs> She's got... He has two Necret. Okay. He's gonna probably pick another damage dealer. I'm gonna take uh, two damage dealers that can hit through shields. I'm gonna go with Baron and Supreme Alhain. I'm hoping he bans the two-star Baron. Or maybe he bans the Yumiko and he just has to deal with these. I'm not sure. One thing is, I'm not very speed-tuned here, so you have to watch out for that. And he's got a Pythion as well. Uh, well, I mean, we just banned Leorius and his damage is gone. <laughs> his damage is gone. It's like, yeah, you've got two Necret, but, uh, I'm pretty sure we just brute force you down, fortunately for him. We could take a 33% attack in all battles aura just to sort of make sure we kill these guys. That might be totally fine. I don't feel like we need the speed. I just want the damage to try to secure some kills. So let's go with that. He's gone resistance aura. Does Pytheon not have a better? No, maybe not. Maybe they're the same. And he's putting his sheep, his sheep up at a turn at position number one, so that we could get polymorphed when we try to debuff position number one, and we're a bit messed up. And he's left. He's, he's left. Okay, <laughs> he's gone. He's out of there. So yeah, you kind of need maybe don't pick two Necrat when you can pick. Uh... Yeah, maybe don't do that. You need you need two damage dealers, guys. Two damage, unfortunately, does seem to be the way. You can definitely do some fun tricks with it. You could do some fun tricks. You can sort of bait and switch and. Do some interesting things. Okay. Uh, enemies picking first this time. Uh, that's a pity. I was really hoping to do some Supreme El Hain nuking past the Necret shield. She's so good for that. And I've got quite an advantage where, where I've got Baron as well. So I've got two champions that can ignore shield, uh, which opens up a lot of strategies for me. It gives me some flexibility. And I build them quite differently. Baron is slower, but he hits really hard. Supreme El Hain is faster. She sh should still hit pretty hard. Okay. He's got a two-star Pythion. That's a good first pick. We're going to go into the Yumiko again. Um, maybe we just uh, play it safe with the Kandrophon. Kind of like a safe first pick. Damage dealer. You can't really go wrong. He's pretty good against Pythion. Pythion's putting up buffs. We have the double hit right there to hit through. Pythion's not bringing a ton of protection to his team. I think this works just fine. And it doesn't give anything away either, right? We're leaving our, our pretty open. You know, is this a speed team? Is this a go second team? Who knows? Like, Yumiko is pretty high priority ban, so yeah. If you don't have a Yumiko, I actually think Uko is a pretty good one to put in the, in the top spot there. If you got Uko built fast and like a stun set, a provoke set. Okay, so he's going full on speed with the Kaimar and her. Okay, all right, I can, I can live with that. So what do we want to do? i probably just pick a Pythion myself, <laughs> to be honest, and maybe an Uko as well. And then we could pick another damage dealer next. Actually, maybe I'll leave the Uko for last. I think we go in probably with the Helicath. Uh, where is Helicath? Not Helicath, excuse me, Hefrak. I'm thinking of building up a Helicath as well. I think Helicath could be kind of an underrated pick here. 
So I've got basically two nukers here in stone skin, which is a, a real luxury, right? I've got a couple of nukers that are not in stone skin. They're in savage or lethal. I got a couple of nukers in stone skin and it's giving me that flexibility uh, where especially with my nukers, I can, I can pivot from going first to going second and I, I don't really need to worry. I'm probably going to pick Uko last, maybe Mithrala. Um, if I go Mithrala, we've got no revive. Uko gives us a backup revive and some disruption. Let's lock it in. <laughs> I don't know if I actually click confirm there. The time was literally zero seconds. It might have just timed out. Um, yeah. Okay, and he's gone with he's gone with some force damage dealers right there. All right, cool, cool. Uh, I think we we probably get rid of the Kaimar, I think, or maybe the maybe the candy. Yeah, I feel like we've got mostly enough damage. Hefrak is going to struggle to kill Pythion. So that's something to watch out for. I'm not super duper worried. He's going to almost definitely ban Yumiko, I think. I think we probably get rid of Candy. Candy's probably the most annoying. Mountain King is going to have a tough time killing two revivers. Um, and the reset is going to be annoying. I think, I think I'm going to get rid of the Candrophon. Oh, he's actually banned Uko. That is actually a surprise hmm that's actually a surprise to me okay okay I might go for just the attack aura maybe resist i am a well we could he can weak hit with with kaimar so i feel like python's pretty safe i feel like i'm gonna have enough accuracy there i'm just gonna take the damage i'm taking damage and we're just gonna go nuke uh one thing here with hefrak hefrak is gonna struggle a bit we're not gonna trigger hefrak's passive very easily let me tell you um, because, uh, he's probably just going to kill Hefrak with Mountain King. <laughs> okay, it's an immunity set Kaimar. They've got Bolster set as well. This seems to be our toughest opponent so far. He had a pretty good draft, I have to say. This could be very bad for us. It depends how this strip goes. We got super lucky right there. We actually have killed. <laughs> We've actually killed him. That's cool. He did strip by Yumiko, which is no surprise. But all the stone skin resisted it. Now, we do have two positive affinity, so... You know, that certainly helps us, but he's got to be a little bit flustered. The issue here, if he kills her, oh, okay, well, he tried, he didn't succeed. If he kills Yumiko, it does leave Hefrak open to, um, it gives Hefrak a free nuke, although Hefrak currently does not have increased attack. So he stripped those a little bit. Uh, I'm honestly tempted to just buff up. I think I will with Candy. Let their uh, bolster set run out a bit. We have to just go straight in with Hefrak. Uh, and I imagine he's going to kill Hefrak, and we're going to revive him next turn. And he's probably going to revive Kaimar. Okay, we've actually killed Arbiter straight through. Mountain King's gone a little bit low. He's done the revive. And now we can put all of his stuff on cooldown, which works out great for us. I think we do just do the AoE heal right here. If he kills Yumiko, she's lower. It would be a bit of a trap. He's failed to kill her. Oh, he's got no damage on this Mountain King, man. I'm like, let the Hefrak passive proc, dude. He's really trying. He's really trying. He just has to A1 with Kaimar because he's locked out. Uh, all right, this is going to be a big smack. It's going to kill most of them. And uh, then we should just A1, and that should be the game. Yeah, didn't even need the double hit right there. Okay, cool. Definitely, I think that's sort of a case of outgearing. That felt like a case of outgearing. He had a good draft, honestly. That was a good fight he put up. I liked his draft. He had some good ideas. Uh, we just have, like, better, better quality gear there. All right, let's go in again. Enemy first pick. Enemy first pick. Let's see. I think with the first pick, you want to not give stuff away. Mithrala sort of screams, like, I'm going second, doesn't it? That sort of screams, I'm going second. Unfortunately for him, Yumiko lockout. Mithrala can't cleanse that. We can't lock her out. But um, that's a bit unlucky for him. I think I'm going to take again the candy. I feel like this is such a safe thing. Let's me go speed. Let's me go damage. Let's me go whatever I want. Honestly, you know what would be great here? Frickin' Razzlevarg would be great. Like a really fast Razzlevarg. Oh, he's so going second. Ooh, yeah, we got Uko, Helicath. All right. I think we do bring in our own Uko, actually. <laughs> and I think we probably... Do we give away the Arbiter this early on? I don't know that we do. I think we might just bring in the Hefrak again, to be honest. Uh, we could bring in Baron to ignore shields. We could bring in Supreme Alhain to ignore some shields. You know what? I might do that. Let's bring in Supreme Alhain just for fun. I want to see her in action. Let's go. The problem is she doesn't have her own increased attack, which Hefrak does. Um, so that's an issue. But uh, yeah, we'll give it a go. Let's go in Supreme Alhain. Let's do it. 
I own Mighty Uko as well. Can't really go wrong with that. Well, you can, but I think, I think Uko is such a strong champ for this. Okay, and he's got a Bomb champ. All right, and he's got a Pythion. Okay, well, I think we just take Arbiter. I think we go first. And I think we ban away Nishak, which is most of his damage, and we're good, right? We ban away his one damage dealer. A Helicath can do damage. But um, yeah, and he's got a couple of Polymorphs, so we could get a bit messed up with that on the um, Uko, and Arbiter can strip buff. So yeah, I think, I think getting rid of Nishak is his win condition. I've got no way to deal with the bombs. And that's not really a surprise that he banned those. Uh, we could just take the 33% Aura, or we could take Speed. I think we'll take Speed just to try to get ahead. Um, yeah, I, th I think we take Speed just to try to keep Uko going fast, Arbiter going fast. And I think he's going to struggle to actually kill us with that, I think. I think that's the way to go. We could have gone Attack Aura as well. I don't know. That's an interesting question. I, I feel like the Auras is actually so, so much fun, being like, ooh, how much faster do I think I am than them? Do I want some of my champs going first, or...? Or what? Let's see. Uko could steal some stuff, which would be annoying. All right, we're good. Uh, you know what? Do we just go for the... No, I'm going to go with the A1. Just try to lock him out. Okay, we stunned one of them. That's good. And now we can come in and uh, nuke one of them as well. Um, he could have reaction on any of them. I'm going to try to see if I can take out Uko. We did. Boom. 161k. Let's go into the AoE. This is definitely killing Helicath. Actually, she killed all... <laughs> Okay, she just killed all of them. Oh, oh, oh Supreme Elhane. Oh, 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 my heart. Amazing. Uh, this is what I'm saying about the Razzlevarg fusion as well, guys. People are, like, so negative about fusions. Like, so many people saying Supreme Elhane sucks. I think she's fantastic. I think her biggest use here is for Live Arena. And it's a counter Necret, which otherwise is a problem. Okay, here we go. Now, uh, this is a five-star Awakened Mithrala. That's a bit more serious. We'll go with the old Yumiko. Do we go with our patented Yumiko Candrophon? Just overall super viable nuker. You could pick something like a Rotos here. Obviously, Taras is best in slot if you got a Taras. Congratulations. You probably get into gold arena for free. All right, let's go with it. Let's go with the patented thing. I'm sticking with the strategy. I think it's a good strategy as well, like for gold. These are champions you want to remove. Oh, man. More to Macab. Talk about annoying. That is an annoying, annoying champion. He's almost definitely getting banned. Um, I think we might just go Arbiter Supreme Alhane. Seems pretty good. Let's do it. Arbiter Supreme Alhane. Watch him have two more twos now. No, he doesn't. Oh, he's got Gaius. He has a lot of very annoying champions uh, in Stone Skin, no less. Yeah, that's a problem. Um, I think we throw in a Pythion ourselves. We've got a cleanse, because otherwise these bombs are going to kill us. Because uh, I'm going to, I think I ban the more two. And I think, I think then we're good. But he's got a bunch of, he's probably all in stone skin. Uh, we could bring in Uko to try strip. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. Stone skin's a pain because he's got them. It's actually kind of smart. I'm going to get rid of more two because we can't control more two. Yeah, get rid of more two. Okay, cool. I, I'm feeling pretty good about this then. Um... Do I just want damage? Do I want speed? The awkward thing is if Uko is... I'm going to take damage. The awkward thing is if my, py, my Pythion's actually really fast. <laughs> and if Pythion is uh, too fast, I'm just going to take the damage. We're going with damage. If Pythion's too quick, um, we can't cleanse the bombs. Like his Uko could strip our block debuffs and we could get bombed, which could be bad. Uh, does he have increased attack? He does with Mithrala, but he's more likely to start with the... Yeah, look at this. Every, almost everyone in Stone Skin. Unfortunately, Python is definitely going to be faster. That is annoying. And Uko is going to do his thing. Uh, you know what I might do? I wonder, can Supreme Alhane, like just kill Gaius through Stone Skin? No, almost though. Almost. Took off his Stone Skin. That's kind of cool. Let's see what she's going to do. Now, I actually want speed. I don't really have it. Uh, we could just speed boost to make sure we're faster. You know, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use her revive, which is a bit risky. Um, I, th I think his AoE would kill Gaius, but I'm just going to A1 to make sure. 
Yeah, there we go. The AoE might not have killed him. So there we go. Supreme Elaine hit hard enough. <laughs> hit hard enough that we made that work. That that was actually kind of funny. To be honest, it's kind of funny, actually. All right, let's see if we can strip. This could Sheep Arbiter, which would be annoying. So she's got these debuffs on her, which the decrease actually makes it less likely. Let's see what he's going to do. Probably revive. Okay, I'm going to AoE with her, which definitely killed 69,000 damage against Gaius. That certainly killed Gaius. To put, it, to put it mildly, that absolutely killed Gaius. Let's put the block debuffs back up. And uh, yeah, this time we'll definitely go in with the AoE nuke. And I think we can finish him off pretty much. I think we double smack Pythion. He's dead. Okay, we can hit auto at this point. He's probably going to leave the fight. That was an interesting fight. That was an interesting one right there. That was super cool. So yeah, with that one, that was like a decision you might not normally make, right? To single target his stone skin champion. But just because Supreme Alhain, her single target smacks so hard, smacks so hard that we were actually able to uh, take the stone skin off and kill the Gaius, which really disrupted his plan. I was definitely worried about the Uko strip into the Gaius bombs. That was definitely scary. Uh, unfortunately, so here's the thing. We're, um, yeah, you know what? I think this is actually plenty long enough for this video. That's cool. What I'm going to do, I got this gift for being in the beta. Uh, in the shop, it lasted for five days. In my inventory, it only lasts for one day. So I'm actually going to go through and I'm going to grind up some more live arena. And then when we get higher, maybe tomorrow we can come in and I can do another live arena video maybe for the weekend. We're a bit further up. We're fighting tougher opponents. Give you more... Uh, yeah, more of an idea of what's going on. But yeah, let me know if you like this video. Uh, hopefully you picked up a few different tips. Obviously, I'm using a lot of Yumiko and Live Arena right now, which is a little cheeky, I'm going to be honest. Uh, but uh, it is what it is. I'm going to go fight some more stuff probably for the next hour while this video uploads, start grinding it up. Um, but thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. I'll probably do a video on area bonuses very soon as well, maybe tomorrow. This is the third video today. It's, it's a lot of videos. But yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.